happy day. I'm glad that I woke up in. Ah, where would the internet be without pranks? I can see it now. We'd all be holding hands. We would understand each other. We would finally give each other the hugs that we all need. But instead, we have pranks. And sometimes they're pretty funny. This is more of a practical joke than a prank. <laughs> Getting someone while they're brushing their teeth is so bad! Rest in peace, the nice mirror that was perfectly clean, the perfectly clean wall, the woman who probably has just washed her face and is getting ready for bed. Actually, wait, it's like broad daylight. She probably just put her moisturizer on and went, ah, oh, I'm gonna brush my teeth and I'm gonna do my makeup. And now you made her have to start all over again. But that shot, the problem is the shot's always worth it. It always is. And it's devastating. This is a prank where I feel like the shot wasn't worth it though. Surprised my boyfriend by cleaning his PS4. Okay, I mean, it does look pretty dusty and looks like it needs a clean, but... You're ruining it! Couldn't you just have gotten some like pink stuff or something? Just something to like scrub the outside? Are you gonna clean his computer next? You're just gonna throw the whole thing in the tub? You're gonna throw his laptop in the dishwasher? You're gonna throw his phone in the dryer? What are you doing? It's still wet too! Girl, your idea of cleaning is scaring me! So this is an attempt at pranking where you wanna seem like, you know, the exorcist. You're floating. You want to scare your boyfriend so, so badly. But the issue is, he doesn't care at all. I've never seen a man care less in my entire life. And I wouldn't even post this, I'd be so embarrassed. And like, this would make me question my relationship. Like if I was like, babe, ah, I don't feel well. And he was like, oh, I'm tired. I'd be like, like what? She's saying your name, bud. She's in pain. Bro! Babe, I'm trying to nap. You're ruining the prank! I can't believe this. I'm just tilted that this guy will not wake up when she's literally begging him to wake up! Even the dog's coming through! It did take the dog some time though, so like maybe she cries wolf a lot. Okay, oh one minute in! One minute in! Babe, what are you doing? Babe, what are you doing? You can see the stool under the- Babe, what happened to you? I feel like it's like a really like chachi thing for some reason when a boyfriend calls his girlfriend babe or honey. If he calls you babe or honey, you're dating a Chad. If he calls you like baby, I think that's cuter. Like, hey baby, you know? But like, babe, babe, love you, honey. <laughs> I just don't know about it. I don't trust it, okay? I don't trust how low the pants are either. Oh! Oh my god. You're gonna make people break their phones. Hi! Nobody like gets physically hurt, but it does bother people. It does bother people and ah, the poor dog got scared. No! I have to give props where props are due. That is pretty clever. I like it. Does it bring us closer together? I mean, in a way, we have a laugh on the internet. Just the poor people who it happens to, they're just like ah, and they like thought they died for a second. The sitting prank. Okay, so I'm just sitting here trying to think of how you could do this. Cause when I watched this TikTok, like I tried to, I, I tried to do what he's doing and like I'm too far ahead. Cause if I go any further back, I will fall. So I can only conclude that he has some sort of like a uh, leverage thing in his pant leg. I bet he does. That like only bends down a certain amount. It's pretty uncomfortable to sit in, but you can sit in it for like longer than a few minutes. And when you stand up, it looks fine. That's my guess. Cause yeah, his like, this is too much of a 90 degree angle for him to just be kind of flexing. This is a cute prank because I feel like nobody gets hurt. Unless after the prank, you're like, I am magic. Follow me on Instagram. That's when it becomes an issue. Oh no, a scary girl prank. Oh my goodness. I would scream. I would run. Run boys. Run. Please. Yeah, I just don't know about that. I mean, it is broad daylight, so I don't know how scared I would be, but like, huh, I don't know. This, okay, this would kill me. I would never in my life get in an elevator with a little girl with the black hair. No, don't even, why are you still getting in? Yes, listen to this man, he's smart. Take another lift. She's giggling. The lights went off. Okay, I can't, that's too scary. This is a bad one too. Like this girl's trying to act all brave and stuff. She's like, hey, oh, she's not trying. Okay, I was being so cynical there, but she's like saying, are you okay? 
you're a little kid. The boyfriend just jets. We're seeing a big pattern of bad boyfriends here. She, I'm sorry, but if you're ever getting chased by someone and that's how you run, you are in big, big trouble. That is the slowest run I've ever seen. It's like a fast walk. Oh my goodness, girl. You need to work on your sprint. You're like making me question the authenticity of this prank because that's not how you run when you're running away from a little ghost demon girl. <gasps> I love this prank. <gasps> he hit you? Are you kidding me? He wants the tea so bad. You have to mouth it. He's gonna die of nosiness. I do this too all the time. Like I cannot handle not knowing the tea. Don't talk about it in front of me. Just don't do it because if you even mention it, I need to know the whole thing. And if you don't tell me, it'll make me feel really bad. What is he doing? I'll send him over there. He wants to find out who, and he wants to defend her honor. I respect this. He hit the baby? Stop! He can't believe it! Oh my god, he can't believe it! Bro, oh my god. I'm gonna call the <laughs> He's so mad. Do you want me to come That's over so there too? so cute. This should be like a form of torture. Like, I swear. This is probably one of my favorite prank formats of all time because it's with your significant other. Nobody gets hurt. I mean, they get a little worried, but at least they're not terrified. They know that they're gonna probably find out when you get off the phone, so it's like a little less harmful. Can I please get a six piece chicken tender with a Dr. Pepper and a medium Sprite with some ranch and buffalo? You're <laughs> with me. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that one's okay too. But also, if I was working that day, I'd be really scared that somebody meant that. Like, I'd be so scared. <sighs> How can a head massage be a prank? Oh, I see. Oh, okay, here you go. <laughs> oh my god. Why do people make that noise to that head massager? It's always like, we've watched a few of these before, and it's always like an uh, I feel like it's because those head massagers feel so good. Oh, the hill jump prank. That's mean. My mom would have a heart attack. An absolute heart attack. Oh my gosh! You can't do that to old people! You can't do that! That's mean! What if she had a heart attack? Would the prank have been worth it? Well, yes, but actually no. That was a blood-curdling scream. That was like a- ah! Like, that's the kind of scream that you do when the axe murderer comes through your front door. Hello there. This is why you shouldn't scare your friend, lol. Okay. I smell a prank gone wrong coming up. Hi, bro. Oh, oh, some people like really lean into fight and some people really lean into flight. I definitely feel like I'm a flight person because in the past, whenever something scary has happened, like I run before I even know what's going on. I'm really jealous of the people who are like more nervy, kind of like how my dog is really nervy, like the people who just kind of like run towards the threat to try to fix it. I love those people. We need those people. You're brave people. I appreciate you. As a delicate flower, I appreciate your service. Oh! <gasps> That's toxic. That's salt. She's gonna think the whole thing's ruined. It's freaking salty. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a little better than I thought. My mom would be so upset. She'd be like, ah! The nice thing about it though is you can like add a bunch of water to like fix the salt problem, but then you're gonna have a herb problem. It's gonna like taste really watery. You're just gonna have to like redo so much. And these meatballs look so nice. This soup looks so amazing. What kind of soup is this? Is this like that matzo ball soup? Cause that's one of my faves. I really wanna do this to somebody someday where you like get somebody sleeping and then you squeeze a little lime into their mouth. That's just horrendous. Oh, it's awful. Ugh. <laughs> Why does he look like a baby? I was gonna say like nobody gets hurt, but I feel like I would, I'd be so upset. I really would. It's so disgusting. Like you get bad breath in the morning because your mouth gets so acidic and it becomes like a good breeding ground for bacteria. And I feel like if I woke up with like a mouth so acidic, it felt like lime, I would just feel so gross. Like hopefully it's not too long before this poor man gets to brush his teeth. So this is like less prank and more revenge, but this man's girlfriend broke up with him before the wedding. So he took a Tinder date which is like kind of cool. And they're together now. And that's kind of sweet and she's very pretty. I'm kind of into that. And I feel like if I was the wife who ran away, I'd be so mad. So like, it's kind of a win-win, but I mean, I've seen the cost of weddings. Everybody loses either way. 
Oh no, it's the there guy who go. mispronounces yep. word. I think it's now. You don't sell ganache, do you? Gnocchi. I think it's ganache now. Gnocchi. You know where the tzatzikai is? Stop tzatzikai. it. Starts with a T. Oh, tzatziki. Tzatzikai, yeah. Tzatziki. You know which is the best tortilla for fajitas? Fajitas? Yeah, fajitas. I would be so mad, and my dad used to do this. He used to do this all the time because it made people so mad. We had this mall called Chinook Mall, like, you know, like a warm front of wind, a Chinook, and he would always be like, uh, Chinook. And people would be like, Chinook! It's Chinook! I understand it with, uh, Fajitas. Can Let's see if there's croissant, one that's. Please? Oh, yeah, my croissant. Goodness, please. You know where the quinoa is? Try again? Oh. Quinoa. Yeah. It's pronounced quinoa. Tricky one. Oh, that's sweet of her. Tricky one. Jalapenos, you mean? Yeah, jalapenos. I think the proper way to pronounce it is jalapeno. Okay, okay, thank you. Oh, people are so nice. I remember when I first took philosophy, like, I was a spring chicken just getting in, and. I uh, may or may not have said Socrates instead of Socrates. And I was the biggest embarrassment. And then another girl said Descartes instead of Descartes. Like we were, we were struggling. It was a struggle. Telling my wife a guy's checking her out. Well, I'd be checking out and shoving my face right now. I don't know, look. I'm not gonna look and encourage him. This is all for you. Yes, oh, ma'am. Nice. I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> is he still looking? Yes. <laughs> Get I don't think here, she believes drop. you. I don't think she believes him. I wouldn't believe it either if I was just sitting there stuffing my face with a hoodie. Like if all you can see is like the back of my head and I'm sitting in a car, I'd be like, what do you like? Are you okay? I don't think the guy's doing that. He like, there must be a dent in our car or like bird poop or something. I have always wanted to pretend that I was filming when the window washers come by just to see what they do. Like just kind of as a prank to them. Like, look at me, I'm filming a TikTok and he's like into it. Is it a prank? if the victim of the prank is totally down with it. I don't think so. I think it just becomes like a really good time. So as a creator, I've kind of had a lot of people say like, Cass, you should do some pranks. Like you should prank people. And my big issue with that is that one, no one would ever believe me if there was a camera anywhere nearby. If I was acting weird, they would instantly know what I'm doing. And two, being a public disturbance is really scary to me. And these guys, these Canadian boys, the Nelk boys, they're very notorious for different things and they often do pranks that a lot of people like aren't okay with like moaning in people's ears oh. <laughs> you okay buddy it's Why'd so hard that? to not laugh at this though why did you do that oh <laughs> he's so scared these poor guys are so scared but it's also kind of cute sometimes like when you see the guys oh. who are sympathetic like this guy what are you up or something bro he's like are you okay Huh? I don't step up, I <laughs> But also, like, please stay away from me. I don't know. It's a disturbance, okay? I get that it's funny. When I watch it, I laugh, but I take issue with it. I do. This breakup, I'm convinced, it is a prank. A lot of people think it's real. I just can't believe it. My roommate is breaking up with her psycho boyfriend. First of all, he's wearing Crocs. But let's pretend that the Crocs and the mismatching socks are intentional. So bang on my knees? <laughs> I just don't believe it. Come on! <laughs> you said you loved me. You said it! He's good though. I, 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 know. Know. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't believe it! I can't! Stop. I can't. There's no way all of this would come out at once. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like a, a girl this normal would. There would have been a sign if this is who he actually is. You're gonna be gone? Taking my stuff with me! Stop! <laughs> not throwing the fruit at the friend filming. Absolutely not. I do not believe it. It would have been so easy. Wait. Okay, yeah, no, this this is the guy. This is the crazy guy's TikTok account. You know, I feel like a man like this wouldn't post this video on his own account. I feel like he's pranking us and it's working because it was fabulous. It was great. It was the perfect amount of cringe. He got us. It's better, I feel, to prank the public than to hurt the people closest to you in your life. Actually, now that I've said that out loud, I think they're both bad. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out the amazing creators who are featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. I will see you on the next one. Bye!